Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our four systems across the Atlantic Basin. So we have Hurricane Sam, which is expected to become a catastrophic hurricane in the basin. And we have those three disturbances and it's possible that we could have development of two of the three disturbances. And so before I go into details... Alright, so let's get start things with the most northerly disturbance. So this one is associated with the remnants of a debt and it had a medium chance to develop but it is accelerating into less favorable conditions to enable redevelopment of a tropical cyclone or subtropical cyclone so we have the chance decreasing and now it is at 20 percent so as the system makes its way to the south southeast then it is likely that we will see this chance diminishing and it will just stay as a remnant low out there and so now let's go ahead and move on to a new disturbance that is in the basin. So this one here was identified probably over a day ago and as you're seeing it is given a 40% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone or subtropical cyclone during the next couple of days. So it is located just to the east of Bermuda and it is expected to make its way to the north northwest during the next couple of days. And so it really has very limited time because after tomorrow conditions are expected to become very hostile in terms of the upper level winds they're expected to become stronger which is likely to prevent any further development that's happened with this but sometimes we see subtropical storms develop very very rapidly and so we definitely have to see what's going to be happening with this one and in terms of it on satellite here we have it it's starting to have that asymmetrical feature but it does not have a defined center of circulation so once we have that along with it getting better organized then it is likely that we will have it becoming a subtropical cyclone and if it does achieve that status it will acquire the name Teresa which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season but as of now it is just known as invest 99 else so we'll see what is going to be the eventual outcome with this as time goes by and so now let's take a look at that other highlighted area where we could have development. So there is a 40% chance that we could have development taking place here as well. So this is a recent disturbance and we're expecting that the area of disturbed weather will be emerging off Africa probably by tomorrow. And as of right now, the chance is at 40%. So it is likely that we might have another cyclone behind Sam because conditions ahead of the system that is yet to emerge off Africa appear to be somewhat conducive to enable development of a tropical system and hopefully this is not going to be a threat to land but once it emerges off the coast of Africa a general westward track is anticipated from it but we have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome so if we have 99L developing and we come in Teresa then if we have development of this disturbance as well that one will become Victor so those are the next two names to be used for this hurricane season and that will leave just one name left on the original list so the list is almost completely exhausted and once it is and if we'll be having more cyclones after the last name is used then we will eventually return to the new auxiliary list that is going to be used to name our tropical cyclones in that case all right so now let's move on to hurricane sam so looking at the satellite view of the cyclone we're seeing here that it is getting much better organized it's looking a lot better than it did yesterday and it is intensifying so it is in a region that is very conducive at this time to enable rapid intensification that is what we've been seeing uh, for the last day or so and sam is expected to become a very very dangerous hurricane fortunately at its maximum intensity it is expected to be in the open waters and not be in very close proximity to anywhere so let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast from the national hurricane center and so here we have it and Sam currently has sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and it is accelerating westward at 15 miles per hour. So during the next couple of days, it is expected to slow down as it is going to start to make that gradual west west northwest return so fortunately it is not expected to enter the caribbean however this track here could change we could see it shifting a little bit more to the south which means that the lesser antilles would be more at a risk of being affected by the system here but 
if anywhere in the Leicester Antilles will be affected by this, it'll likely be the Leeward Islands. And so even if the center of Sam is going to be well offshore, that is just the center, could become something very large and destructive and so the outer bands could still bring some impacts. So it is possible that we could see a change in the track and we're going to take a look at what our Euro and GFS models are forecasting in terms of this system here. But for now, I would say for in the Northern Leeward Islands, you want to keep an eye on this because things can change as time goes by. And so in terms of the intensity guidance, we have quite a lot of models available and majority show intensification of the system during the next couple of days. We have most models agreeing that this will peak as a Cat 3, some showing a Cat 4, and the National Hurricane Center is also expecting that Sam is going to be peaking at a Category 4 hurricane. And once it becomes a Cat 3, that would make it a major hurricane and it will be the fourth of the season. And so... In terms of favorability ahead of it, here we have the wind shear map. The different colors show how favorable the shear is. So whenever you see those greens, it means favorable. The yellows mean neutral and the red means unfavorable. So we see here that a favorable environment is persistent ahead of the cyclone, which is the reason rapid intensification is likely with this. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what our GFS and Euro models are forecasting for this. So first up is the GFS. And so this is a map showing the ice bars which are lines of equal pressure and when you see them being very close in a circular manner with the pressure being below 10 13 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be our tropical cyclones and whenever you see them being tightly packed that means the system is quite strong because the gradient is very steep and so this is by tuesday the 28th of September and here we have GFS showing that we will have a 957 millibar low pressure system to the east of the Leeward Islands. So this is a definite major hurricane at this point. So let's see what happens as we head to Thursday the 30th of the month and so here we see the pressure has risen a bit so after the next couple of days Sam is expected to hold on to or maintain its intensity because conditions will start to get a bit unfavorable to enable more or further intensification of it. So after a while, intensification is expected to stop. So it is showing that Sam is going to be making its way uh, north of the Leeward Islands. But look at that. Some of that the outer bands from the cyclone are affecting some portions of the island and also to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands is a 1001 millibar low pressure system that is potentially a tropical storm at that point which is likely the disturbance that we're seeing being highlighted just off the coast. And so now let's go ahead and see what Euro is forecasting. So this is by Thursday the 30th of September and we see here that it is showing that Sam is going to be making a much closer approach to the Leeward Islands opposed to what GFS is showing and as we head to Saturday the 2nd of October Euro is showing that we will have the system not moving as south as it showed yesterday but it's going to be out in the open waters and then it is also showing that disturbance making its way westward. So we are seeing a little bit of changes with Euro and GFS has been consistent since day one that this, this tropical cyclone is not going to be making its way to the Lesser Antilles. However, the island chain could still be impacted by the outer bands of the cyclone and again, changes are possible possible as time goes by so we'll really have to wait and see what is going to be happening with it and so guys that is really it for this updated video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep you updated as time goes by